you know, this story is merely the unthinkable. Uh, if you wouldn't see this with your own eyes, I don't think nobody would believe you if you told them this. You got a four-year-old child, baby, in his wonderful diaper, walking around upstairs, pointing a loaded gun at people while his father is in the house asleep. And now you're going to jail because your four-year-old got your loaded weapon and went out the door and pointed at people while you're in the house asleep. You weren't even supposed to have a gun. You're a felon. That's why you're going to jail. Y'all know y'all have weapons in the house. Why don't you put them where children and teenagers can't get their hands on it? You know, this is really ridiculous, but no, what a way to go to jail. You're going to jail on behalf of your four-year-old, okay? And you being stupid for not putting your weapon in a place where that four-year-old hands couldn't get it. Here goes the rest of the story. Y'all need to do better down there. Just do better. Damn. Put your guns away. You know, kids are inquisitive. Just put it away. Here goes the rest of the story. Damn. Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. But on this channel, you're going to get it anyway. You are straddled the fence of good versus evil, right versus wrong. And on this channel, we're going to tell you to do better. Please like dislike, subscribe, and share the videos. Now let's go. Morning, a four-year-old playing with a loaded weapon, waving it around inside of an Indiana apartment complex. So this was all broadcast during a, a television show that follows police officers. Well, now the father of the young child is facing neglect charges. Jenny Runovich reports. Viewers nationwide saw these disturbing images in real time. It, it's almost uh, incomprehensible what you're watching. A diaper-clad four-year-old captured on a security camera playing with a loaded gun, waving around the weapon, pulling the trigger. And he just kept, pow, 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 pow. I don't know how you can't watch that video, parent or non-parent, and not be, be shocked and disturbed. Oh, I can't. You can't. You can't unsee it. Nicole Summers called 911 and brought police to Beach Meadow Apartments Saturday. She says the little boy pointed the pistol at her son. Then she saw it too. And he was standing in the middle of the hallway and he just kind of was holding it behind his back. And I thought, like, that's a real gun. I'm Dan Abrams and we are on patrol live. What happened next all played out on live TV. A docu-series featuring Beach Grove police was rolling as officers confronted the child's father. Shane Osborne told police he was sick, had been sleeping when his son got out. He denied having a gun in the home, saying he has previous felonies. Then officers found the weapon in the back of a desk. 15 rounds in the magazine, none in the chamber. Police arrested dad on felony neglect charges and credit neighbors for taking action. Because you have that immediate video and you take the step forward to get involved, to be helpful, then the officers on the scene can do the job that everybody wants them to do. Neighbors say they had to help after watching this in horror. And he kind of looked down just from the opening of the stairway and was like, look what I got. Ha ha. And then when we seen the video of him pulling the trigger and knowing that he had pointed that gun at my son. A dangerous discovery that could have ended much worse. Lucky to see him, to find him, and we were so blessed that that gun was not chambered. Or that baby could be dead. The child's father, Shane Osborne, is expected to make a court appearance today. Police say that he could face more charges since he already has a felony conviction.